couple of key principles to remember, you know, always get paid up front. You know, that is so important. There's just tax is a great business because, you know, everybody needs it to a variety of uh, to varying degrees, especially small business owners or great clients because they just have such complicated situations going on most of the time. And until the payment clears, you know, they're really not a client. You want to get paid up front. Even if you're working on an hourly basis, you have to start with at least a $2,000 retainer, like I said, for tax resolution, and then start billing into that. And until you get paid, you don't start doing the work. No exception. Always, always qualified. You know, you want to leave some room to come back later, especially for preparation, especially for tax resolution. With tax planning, you do want to do it, but, you know, very rarely do you run into that situation because the engagements are just so profitable. Never, ever send the completed work, especially for pre preparation and resolution until it's been paid in full. It's so key. When in doubt, start higher. I mean, you can always negotiate down, and if you get it, great. We've got higher margins on the business. That's fine. You have to price in pieces with this. I mean, if sometimes people will need individual tax, business tax, a tax plan, and tax resolution, and those are all separate fees. When you're doing this, there's a lot of times where you go through a tax plan situation. You want to do the tax plan first. Do not price. If you're going to do a tax plan, don't price the, the preparation at the same time. Because what happens a lot of times is that during the planning, you end up restructuring the business. And then that's a different tax situation. So make sure you do the planning first, and then later, either at the end of the uh, uh, planning engagement or into the next busy season, then you actually price the tax preparation.